We like to go on hikes and go through the woods and play with bubbles. These will get your muscles strong for the kayak. Hillary Benden enjoys a quiet morning with her kids at Creasy Mayhan Nature Preservation in Goshen. Watching from afar, you would never know that her youngest son, Nolan, is medically fragile. He was born at 24 weeks and six days. So when he was born, his lungs were not fully developed, so he's what's called a chronic lunger. <laughs> Nolan is susceptible to respiratory illnesses. That's why Benden is begging people to wear a mask. It protects her son and others who are immunocompromised. I want to go up to everybody and just be like, please, please wear a mask, wear a mask for him. Look at him, see him, and know that you're doing something for our community and for the, everybody in our community. Dr. Victoria Statler is an infectious disease physician at Norton Children's. She says kids under two years old, like Nolan, shouldn't wear masks because it could be difficult for them to breathe and present suffocation risks, but everyone else should. Wearing a mask um, protects younger children who can't wear masks. It protects immunocompromised people who may be able to wear masks. Benden is teaching her other kids to wear masks too. Even eight-year-old Alyssa is leading by example, wearing a mask to protect her baby brother in hopes that others realize it could save his and many other people's lives. I hope they see that it's easy to wear a mask and that they are protecting innocent children from getting sick. And if he got COVID-19, it, it could be a dire situation for us. I see there's a fish in there. Alex Durham, WOKY News.